Hello everyone. Let's take a look at the activity regarding ARP4761. You will see that the great deal of analysis needed to be done. Moreover, these activities need to be done with requirement management, task management, and configuration management while ensuring traceability and consistency for audit trail. Commonly, these analyses will be done using a spreadsheet and modeling tool with any application lifecycle management tools. Let's now introduce some typical processes and methods available for ARP4761. So before explaining FMACA, I'd like to present some about FMEA. As you may already understand, FMA is a method used to examine the logic behind preventing system-level failures due to component failure. It is known to have been formally introduced by the U.S. military in the 1940s. FMA is an acronym for Fault, Mode, and Effect Analysis. Since the failure of component is the starting point, this method uses a bottom-up approach to failure analysis. As you can see, the analysis is performed in tabular form. FMEGA adds criticality to the FMEA as an element. FTA is a method of fault analysis using specialized tree diagram called fault tree and the acronym for fault tree analysis. It was invented by Bell Laboratories in 1961 and standardized internationally as IC61025 in 1990. Contrary to FMEA, FTA uses a top-down approach to determine the logic that will prevent hazards from occurring. Both PSSA and SSA processes that address aircraft safety requirements while PSA is a top-down process to break down the safety requirements, SSA is a bottom-up process to validate the safety requirements. The analysis is performed using the tabular form or goal notation. FHA is a series of processes to identify evaluate the potential hazard associated with an aircraft. FHA is an acronym for Function Hazard Analysis. It begins with a collection of aircraft functions followed by identifying failure status, determining the impact of each failure state, classifying each failure state based on the severity of the effect, and determining their hypothesis. The analysis results are also finally summarized in tabular form. This picture shows at what stage the process is performed and analyzed concerning the ARP4761 and ARP4754A safety process flow. You can see where the FHA, PSSA, and SSA processes are located and where FTA and FMEA are performed. Here is a life cycle of safety and development process. The well-known V-shaped process is applied. This process begins with the developing aircraft functions and requirements moves to architecture description, system requirements and architecture description, and reaches the software and hardware design and validation. Then shift to subsystem level verification, system level verification, and finally ends with aircraft level verification. Taking this activity as a vertical axis, aircraft level, system level, item level activities can be assumed as a horizontal axis. Analytical activities in aircraft development are then mapped out in this way. You can see that the flow goes from aircraft level to item level development and validation, then returns from item level verification to aircraft level verification. 